Years ago, I learned how to make wine from an old Italian, and I've been making wine ever since, so I'll show you the process. First, you need grape juice. This is Concord grape juice. So this has been squeezed out without being cooked. If you cook it, you're gonna lose your enzymes, so don't cook it. First, I started in this larger container, and then once everything settles down, then I take this rubber tube and I'll transfer it from here to another container like this. It's important that anything that touches the wine is completely clean, and I use bleach. With a clean sink, I'll fill it up with warm bleach water. And we'll add a little bleach. Without cleaning it in bleach, you'll end up with vinegar. Now we'll fill up the jar. A lot of people will leave the skins and the seeds and everything on it, and I've done that plenty of times. This year, I'm just using the juice. So if you see seeds and pulp in there, no problem at all. Eventually, it'll all settle down. And this grape juice is wonderful without making wine, or you can make grape jelly as well. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top because we don't want any air in here. I drilled a nice clean hole in here so I can put the air trap right in here and just press it until it fits. Go ahead and cap it. Put a pie tin underneath it because once it ferments, it's gonna bubble over. We'll add in some water. This water trap will keep all the airborne yeast out of the wine. When the water evaporates, make sure you keep water in there. Now just let it sit and ferment. After two or three days, you'll see it working. If you look right through the glass, you'll see all those bubbles coming up. After a few weeks, you can see there's no fermentation activity going on right now. Usually you'll see all kinds of bubbles and activity right in through here. At the bottom of the jar, you can see sediment, and this is what we don't want to transfer into our new container. We'll open up the container. Now that smells really good. We'll set the jar that we're going to siphon into lower than the other container. We'll put the siphoning tube into the wine, but not too far down. We don't want to get the sediment. Put a clip on the tube so it doesn't go down too far. Right here's the tube, right here's the sediment. We can go down lower, but we're going to take that nice and slow. We'll get the siphon going into this bottle here. And there we go. We'll just let it drain in nice and slow. As it siphons in, you can see how clean that is. And it smells like wine in here. It's wonderful. After about 10 or 15 minutes, you can see that bottle is full and we're getting pretty close on that tube. So we're gonna need to lower that just a little bit. I'll start draining off into another bottle and lower this tube. You can see how close I am to the sediment. I don't want any of that sediment in here. You can see how clear that wine is. Now all the clear wine is drained off and you can see all that's left is the sediment. On the bottle that's full, I'll put a water trap on. The water trap will keep out all the airborne yeast so it doesn't turn to vinegar. Now all that work and it's finally time to try it. All natural, no preservatives at all. This is not gonna be like wine that you get from the store. Let's give this a try. Wow. Unless you know an old Italian, you'll probably never have wine this good. Here's to my old Italian neighbor. Cheers.